Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're hopping into Roblox Studio and I'm going to show you a plugin that you just need, okay? It's been on the channel a few times, but I think it needs a spotlight because of how good this plugin actually is. Today, to demonstrate the plugin, we're going to be using IC Dev's Asset Pack. This is, uh, it's free. So if you just go on the toolbox, type in Asset Pack, you'll find this. He also has a tweet. If I remember, I will link it down below in the description so you can find it very easily. But there's a lot of stuff in here. We have shop and sell circles. We got borders, other borders, cactuses, trees, teleporters, fountains. Like, there's so much stuff in this pack which is super dope if you want to see me build a full map with it let me know by dropping a like on this video guys let's shoot for 150 because hey y'all have been killing the game all right but you guys might be thinking bro what plugin are you talking about all right what are you doing man like is it really that great i'm gonna have to say yes yes it is guys we're talking about the brush tool plugin okay so check it out boom brush tool here it is and basically you select some objects so let me just go ahead ungroup this stuff all right uh because i don't want it to be you know bad <laughs> so there's not a ton of trees right here we have four different trees which is enough to demonstrate uh let's grab the trees cool boom let's grab this oh wait let me just i'm gonna ungroup everything real quick just highlight all that you and did i just ungroup the trees for oh my atlantis oh no oh no i made a mess okay hold on guys all right so for the purpose of this video i'm gonna go ahead grab a couple of these rocks down here and group those together Control g just is like a thing that we can use as another thing to kind of spread around so we have this rock all right these mushrooms are these mushrooms yes they are we're gonna grab those we're gonna go ahead and grab this grass these mushrooms all right and every single tree all right so here we go this is everything you're gonna find in nature okay so we have right here rocks some mushrooms and a bunch of different colors and four trees let me go ahead and add everything okay so we're just gonna hit add and this is gonna add it to our brush tool now what we're gonna do is go ahead and head over to this base plate right here it's a normal green and check this out with these settings so all we set these up rotation random that can spin anywhere from zero to 360 degrees aka a full circle guys up next we have scale now we're gonna set this to random as well and you could set the parameters i guess i could call it uh say we want it to be half the size all the way up to one and a half the size all right so there we go and wobble is kind of like let me explain it like this just in case uh so i don't confuse people so this is rotate all right this is scale these are just in case someone's new to studio and then wobble would be like this so it's wobbled this way or this way or this way not scale and it is rotating just on the other axes now we are going to set wobble to random but keep it at a very low thing like i'm gonna say can i do two yeah i'm gonna keep it at two an orientation we're gonna keep it normal because i mean you don't want your tree or grass or anything really to be upside down so those are our settings you can ignore invisible ignore water all that kind of stuff if you want to and you can set the radius so check this out we have a radius of seven and a spacing of nine so if i click notice how there's one tree all right if i control z deactivate brush spacing go to one activate brush now there's a ton of stuff within here because they don't need to be spaced out so i wouldn't recommend doing this with everything all at once we're going to go ahead and start with just the trees all right disable all and then just click we're going to start with just the trees guys i know there's four trees bro i'm going to have to add the other one which one am i missing this guy right here i think it's the same tree just a little different scale in fact, they might both be the same. No, I think these are a little different. So I'm not actually going to add that because it looks the same, just a different scale. So we have our trees. We're going to go ahead, set this to, uh, let's space these out to like nine, activate brush. And I'm just going to start clicking around the map. All right. You can even click and drag like this if you wanted to just go nuts. Not exactly my cup of tea, but you could build a forest super, super fast with this. Very, very simple. Let me go ahead. Just keep going. Click all around. As you can see, each time it's a different tree. And if it's the same one, it's a different rotation or a different scale. So this 
you can make absolutely huge maps with ease quite literal ease so look at this if we come down to the play area we've already got a jungle all right so let me go ahead and move this guy you will get this every once in a while you know some trees going over each other and all that stuff but it's all good you can control z say you don't like what placed so check this out boom nah that doesn't look good control z boom nah doesn't look good yeah there we go that's what i want so you could do that very very simple but after you have your base layout all right we have our trees done this is our forest how can we make this look more like a forest because if we come down here i mean it's a bunch of trees but it's not really filled in so we're gonna go ahead and deselect our trees and we're gonna grab our grass and our mushrooms guys so just go through click on everything you want to add and i think we're gonna leave all of our other settings the same uh spacing can probably come down just a hair though because it is like very small vegetation stuff we could even up radius if we absolutely wanted to so if we just click like look at this uh, that's that's a lot now of course you're gonna get more mushrooms than grass because you're giving it a four to one odd so you know just just chill out a little bit you don't uh, you don't need that <laughs> and if you do you might want to put more grass objects in there but i'm just gonna click around uh in fact i should probably do grass first and then mushrooms uh or vice versa because we don't want to end up with so many mushrooms spacing we're gonna make this out a bit more radius down a bit uh this will make it so there's only a couple each time we click all right so i'm gonna click through all this just add some mushrooms around guys these are all different sizes rotations colors everything the reason it's changing colors is because i've selected more than one color so if you want to do this with trees and make a rainbow map just make four trees and change the leaf colors on each tree and then you'll be able to do that very very simply as well so we got some mushrooms all placed around looking all good handy dandy beautiful we're gonna unselect the mushrooms and select only the grass with this our radius is going to go up our spacing can stay the same i think and we're going to activate the brush if we click one time as you can see there's quite a bit of grass now we probably don't want the grass this tall considering it's just so much taller than the mushrooms so we're going to control z go to our scale minimum factor 0.1 maximum 0.8 now this is going to give us this guys uh okay 0.1 might be a little small we'll go 0.3 to 0.8 there we go so we're going to paint around this real quick and you can literally do this if you wanted to look at this guys just fill in your whole scene so so simple now if i deactivate my brush and i come down here tell me this doesn't already look like a, a whole desert like or not a desert this it's not a desert guys this is a this is a forest not a desert at all actually yikes now since our wobble was only set to two we don't have as much variation i am going to control z the grass max angle of wobble let's go let's go like 10 okay grass is just one of those things now this will make it look kind of ugly um so you'll have to kind of drag stuff down i'll show you exactly what i mean in just a second paint over all of that now we have some grass that will be sticking um up out of the ground all right of course right now i don't really see any so you know hey this one okay this one is a little little bit look okay it, it's slightly out of the ground all right so you could just grab those ones and drag them down just a little bit but as you can see we made a whole forest and this will look better if you have you know your assets and everything like that everything matching same vibe whatever we made this whole thing with explaining what everything does and how to do everything in under 10 minutes so i do think that's gonna wrap up today's video guys this is such an important tool i use it on all my kind of maps like this so for example i put all of my aqua stuff like these assets right here in the the brush tool and then i would just click a couple times and make it super random it's just so helpful okay and you're never gonna get the same stuff and there's nothing more random than a tool that does things randomly like even if you want to be random our brain tells us some sort of pattern to kind of put down so i'm just saying use that as you must i also made this map and used the brush tool quite a bit as well it helps so much guys so this is definitely a great tool to have it is a free plugin and it will be linked down below in the description thank you so much for watching have a great day. Later.